Hello, my dear friends, welcome to Series English. My name is Antonia Ramaker, and today we're going to talk about the difference between on time and in time. These seem to be alike, similar, the same, but they are not. So these two little prepositions change the meaning of the phrase. So let's get started and first discuss the phrase on time. On time means punctual, not late or at the time it was planned. Or, according to the Cambridge Dictionary, happening or done at the particular moment that it was expected to happen or be done. So, an example. Unfortunately, the bus left on time, so we missed it. Here, I should elaborate. We hoped that the bus would be late, but it wasn't. It was on time, so we missed it. That's a drag. Another example. The flight leaves on time. So it's not gonna be delayed or something. It's gonna be on time. It's not gonna be late. Another example. Mm -hmm, okay, 4.30 at the cafe, right? I'll do my best to be on time. <laughs> Meaning, I will probably be late. I want to try live streaming. And I want it to be well organized so that it would start on time and finish on time and stuff like that. I hardly ever get to work on time. I'm always at work. I work at home. So the opposite of on time is late. Don't be late, be on time. Okay, and now let's talk about the phrase in time. In time means soon enough or early enough. When we talk about the phrase in time, we usually imply some kind of a deadline. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. I got home in time. It's starting to rain. So, I got home soon enough so that I wouldn't get caught in the rain. We didn't hurry up, so we weren't in time to catch the train. So, the deadline was, let's say, 12 o'clock. The train left and we didn't make it. BTW, the phrase make it in time, is very popular. It means to get somewhere soon enough or early enough for some kind of an event. So, however, make it already means to make it in time, to be somewhere soon enough. And uh, to be in time, well, also means to make it. So, uh, using the phrase make it in time is emphasizing the idea because these phrases are synonymous. Usually we say in time for something or in time to do something. For example, we got there in plenty of time for the beginning of the concert. It means early. So, this is another modification of the phrase in time. You can say in plenty of time. In time means early enough and in plenty of time means quite early, like half an hour early, two hours early. So, you've got plenty of time left. Almost in every TV show you can hear this phrase. We'll never make it in time. Yeah. Usually, people are panicking, they are late, and yeah. Uh, also, the opposite of in time is too late. So, if you are not in time, you failed something. You didn't meet the deadline. So, you failed if you are not in time. Better be in time for something or to do something. Do not be too late. So, for example, if we talk about some kind of a meeting which is closed and when you do not get there in time, you are too late. They won't let you in. 
For instance, when I studied at the university, some of our teachers were very strict and, and if you weren't there in time for the beginning of the lecture, you were not allowed to come in. Well, that taught us some manners. And you can also say just in time, which means almost too late. Well, when you got there just exactly at that particular time, one second later you won't be in. We got there just in time. So my friend and I were supposed to meet a very important businessman and my friend was late. He was running late and I was getting nervous. But fortunately he got there just in time. In time can mean something else. It can mean in future. For example, um, you'll forget her in time. I understand that she is a B-I-T-C-H, but <laughs> you'll forget her in time. Just be patient. Everything's gonna be fine. You can also say right on time. So when something happened exactly at the time it was planned. So right on time or bang on time. It's quite colloquial. It also means precisely at the moment it was expected to happen. Or dead on time. Bang on time and dead on time are quite colloquial. So you can use them in speaking but not in official formal writing. Be careful. Anyway, that's it about on time and in time. Once again, on time means to happen at the time something is expected to happen. According to the schedule, according to the plan. This is on time. So, and the opposite of on time is late. And you can be late, it's okay. You, f you are not on time, no problems, no big problems are going to happen to you. You are not in trouble. But if you are not in time, this is going to be hard and challenging because being not in time means to be too late. So when we use the phrase in time, we think about some kind of a deadline and we know that if we do not meet this deadline, we are gonna fail. Something won't happen. Something will be a disaster. So the meaning of the second phrase is a little bit more dramatic. Anyway, that's it. I hope that now you get a better understanding of these two phrases on time and in time. I gave you plenty of examples so that it would be easier for you. I hope that they helped. Anyway, if you like this video, please press the button, like it. It will help me a lot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, study English with me, study Russian with me, and I hope to see you soon. Happy English and Russian practice. Bye-bye. not forget that on this channel I have two languages, English and Russian. You can study both or just one. It's up to you. And moreover, I have the second channel where I teach English from the very beginning for Russians. So I teach English in Russian. See you there and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.